my friends welcome to another rush royale video so guys today we will be talking about shaman because we have to so if you rem remember correctly last update not so long ago they nerfed robot because it was too strong with shaman so they do that but then at the same time they introduce something ridiculous we didn't see it last week because the faction for inquisitor was so strong it didn't matter but this week guys we are back in shaman hell and guys not many people have seen this yet but this deck is freaking ridiculous so if you thought robot with shaman was bad this is 10 times worse guys it's horrible so there is this one guy that I can't seem to beat and it was even before this update he was really good with his shamans I, I really hate it it is uh, Metalai if I pronounce that correctly so he was face playing this against me and it's pretty nuts so guys the first game I will be showing you is a game where I lose against Metalai because you so you can see how, how this deck works I'm not that good with it but I also discovered why he is so good against me with Shaman. He has a full uh, dark gear set and I don't. So this week he is getting insane amounts of mana. Um, but other than that, guys, just look at the video. Look what this deck does. It's pretty insane. And I hope you like this content, guys. Please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon on the battlefield. Subscribe now. Okay, everybody, so here is the first game. We are facing Metalay. I think I pronounced that right. So this guy I can't beat. He, his Shaman is too strong for me. I don't know why. Well, I do. He has full dark gear and I don't. But also, guys, just to show you, I do not hide my mistakes. So yesterday, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm really an idiot. Yesterday, during stream and today, making these videos, recording these games, look, can anybody spot the mistake? Can anybody see it? My gear, look at my gear. What's missing? I have the trickster item and I have not been using it yesterday during stream, today during recording. I just discovered it right now in the video. So guys, that's also a big, big uh, help if I would be using that item, but I don't. So that's also uh, a reason why I struggle against him. But anyway, guys, I'm, I'm like a screw up. I always forget stuff. So here I am, my bad. Anyway, guys, so he has full dark gear that's pretty important especially this week you can get a lot of mana and you can clearly see the difference in in the um, production of shamans he has compared to i i also am not very trained with this deck but guys i want to show you this deck is insane the amount of shamans you can produce and how you can just annihilate your opponent's board so you kind of need talents, at least the tier 3 talents. The last talent is maybe not so important, it helps for Priestess, but you need the first 3 tier of talents for sure. And I am putting them up there right now so you can see what they are, the ones I'm using. But that's kind of important and other than that you just need the classic Shaman deck, you want to cycle quickly. And um, the, the trick to this deck is learn, learning how to manage your Priestess usage versus your Shaman usage. usage. So basically you build up a Shaman board, you annihilate your opponent and then you build up a Priestess board to get mana and to do damage and you try and repeat that and at a certain point you kind of need to build up enough Priestesses towards the end game so you can manage your damage. That's easier said than done, guys, but I'm gonna stop talking here. You just watch these games. This guy is really good at this deck, and then you will see me playing without my freaking trickster item a couple of other games. So just so you can see, without perfect gear, you can still annihilate your opponents. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. Please consider subscribing if you have any questions. Leave a comment down below and click that like button. Thank you very much, guys, and I will see you guys on the battlefield.